Today we're going to walk through how to integrate GitHub with Jira software. This will let you see your commits, your branches, pull requests, and more inside of Jira. Uh, it'll help you create branches and pull requests from the Jira issue view, and also let you take advantage of things like automation triggers that can trigger off of a branch being created to then go and uh, send an email or a Slack message or update the status of an issue. The method we're going to use to create the integration uh, will work no matter how you're hosting GitHub and Jira. So whether you're on the cloud or self-managed for either one of your services, uh, this method, method will work for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump out to the Atlassian Marketplace and add the Git integration for Jira app. So we will start a free trial here. And then once that is installed, we'll jump over to our Jira instance. Okay, now we're back in Jira. We're gonna go up to our apps menu item and click Git Integration Manage Integrations. And from here, we can add our first integration. As I mentioned before, uh, whether you're using GitHub Cloud or GitHub Enterprise, uh, we can connect with either of those through this app. So I'm gonna use github.com. Uh, you have multiple authentication options. So whether you want to use OAuth, personal access tokens, or webhooks, uh, you have the option to do any of those. In this particular example, we're gonna use OAuth. Um, and let's say, for instance, I don't have the right credentials to the uh, repository that I wanna connect to. I actually can go into the app uh, to manage your permissions, and I can go and add additional people to uh, a group to manage this app. So if someone else has the right permissions we need to connect the app, uh, we can go and add them here. Then they can go and manage uh, adding the repositories and changing app settings if you desire. But in this case, we're just gonna do it ourselves. So we'll go back, we're gonna use OAuth. I'm already connected, so this should just go right through. Um, and this is using my GitHub credentials. So you can also create a service account if you wanted to, if you don't want to use your personal account to make the connection. Uh, once we are connected here, we can then pick the specific um, repositories we want to connect, or we can select all of them. We can also choose to connect uh, any future repositories that are added. Uh, so it just automatically brings them in. So now that we connected uh, our first integration, we have one repository. Uh, it's gonna run an initial indexing to then go and make the connections uh, between your commit messages and your Jira issue keys. So the way to make a connection between a Jira issue um, and some sort of development is when your developers are making commits, uh, they just need to include the associated Jira issue key in that commit message. Now that we have our connection set up, uh, we can briefly look at general settings. Uh, this gives you control of the integration, gives you control of what things you want to be visible, and also lets you set um, kind of default naming conventions. So if you have a default naming convention you use for your branch naming, uh, when you go and create branches through the interfaces in Jira, uh, we can default to those instead of having to have developers remember that and type it in every single time they go to create a new branch. So let's jump back uh, to our project here. Now that we can see a connection has been made, each of these issues now have uh, an icon corresponding to any sort of development activity that happened. So we can see a pull request and a merge here. Uh, we can see a branch was created on this. And then if we jump into the issues, we can then see associated uh, information here as well. On the git commits tab, uh, for all the commits that were made for this issue, we can see who made them, what files were changed, uh, the volume of code that was changed. You can actually view a code diff here as well without leaving Jira, which is helpful for just a lightweight code review. Uh, there's also web links out to GitHub. So if you wanna open this commit over in GitHub, we can do that here. And coming back here as well, uh, the Git rollup tab, this will give us a summary of all the development activity for this particular issue. So if there was multiple developers working on it or multiple files touched, 
Uh, this lets, lets us know when the first commit was made, the last commit, um, all those files and the volume of code that was changed for this particular issue. Coming down to the Git integration panel, uh, same sort of information, just viewed in a different way. Um, if you're just focused on the description, you have all these items here. Uh, we can see Git tags as well. Um, so if you tag your versions, super easy to see that here in this uh, issue view. One other nice thing is the Git commits page. So instead of looking at individual issues, if you wanna hop into your project here and see what are the latest commits that were being made, what are the issues that people are actively working on. Uh, if you go over to this git commits tab, it'll give you a sequential list of all the latest commits that were made uh, associated with the issues in this project. So really helpful to see what are people focused on, what are the things they're actively working on, um, instead of having to kind of hop into each and every issue and, and spot check uh, what you expect to happen. So now that we have uh, the app set up, our connections are made, um, everyone's including the Jira issue keys in their commit messages. Uh, there's a couple of other things we recommend you do too. Um, if you go to the Git Crack and developer of the Git integration for Jira app, there's a couple of free extension apps in here. Um, one is CI CD for Jira. So if you're using GitHub Actions, um, this will enable you to bring in your build and deployment information into the Jira issues. Um, so your product managers, project managers, team leads, everyone can see that a issue is included in a build and then deployed to different environments. Um, another nice one too is Team Insights for Jira. Uh, this is a really good planning view, uh, which we'll take a look at shortly, which again, instead of clicking into every issue, it kind of gives you a lay of the land um, and lets you see that Git repository activity across multiple issues at one time. So very quickly looking at Team Insights for Jira, um, as I mentioned, it gives you a multi-issue planning view. Um, in this particular view, we're looking at the backlog view, which is going to organize your work by sprints. Um, so in the timeline view here, you'll see these blue bars, which indicate how long the sprint runs for. So if you're running two week sprints, uh, you would see a two week bar there. Uh, we can also see activity on the timeline. Um, so all these boxes on the timeline indicate some activity. So in this particular case, we can see when issues were added or removed to the sprint. If we expand the sprint, uh, then we'll see all the issues that are included in that sprint and their corresponding status. Um, so this gives us a timeline, shows us as an issue transitions from different statuses, um, and also has those activity boxes on every day. So if we you know, see no activity on an issue, that means no one's making a commit, no one has any made any comments, um, it's a really easy way to kind of spot check and see issues that are at risk or what needs attention. Uh, in this particular example here, we can see a pull request was opened and then uh, closed a day later. Uh, we can expand into this box and see the details of that as well. Um, so this particular backlog view is useful if you're coming up towards the end of the sprint. Basically, you want to see you know everything in the green zone. Um, if something hasn't been started yet or it's in progress, but you're not seeing any activity, no commits, um, no pull requests, obviously that's a great opportunity to go and then follow up with that developer. Both Git integration for Jira and the free extension Team Insights for Jira have a lot more capabilities to them, a lot more things you can do. I suggest playing around with them, poking around, see what they can do, see how they can help your team. Uh, but in general, uh, both are really great for keeping your teams in sync, making sure your planners understand what's going on develop with development and is able to leave developers alone because they can answer their own questions uh, through these views. But then if something is off track, um, they have enough details to follow up intelligently with the developers. Uh, so check them out. Uh, thanks for listening.